Doberman ear cropping, why it's done and should we avoid it? Doberman ear cropping is the procedure that makes the dog's ears stand erect. This breed is so identifiable by this characteristic feature, that many people think this is the way their ears appear organically. So you may be surprised to learn that a Dobby's ears in their natural state are neither erect nor pointed. The ears of a Doberman who hasn't had them cropped are actually broad and floppy, similar to those of a Labrador Retriever. There's no question that this gives the breed an entirely different look. Why is it that so many Doberman owners choose to have their dog's ears cropped? Let's find out. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. The Doberman Pincher Developed primarily as a guard dog, the sleek and powerful Doberman Pincher is widely considered to be one of the world's finest protection dogs. This medium to large breed stands from 24 to 28 inches and weighs from 60 to 100 pounds. Dobermans have a wedge-shaped head and a noble bearing. Their short, shiny coat comes in nine standard colors. Both muscular and fast, Dobermans have a reputation for being fearless and fierce. Although often perceived as being aggressive, this typically has more to do with how the dog has been bred and trained. Dobermans are naturally more protective than aggressive, and modern-day breeders are now toning down any antagonistic qualities. These dogs are known to be loyal, obedient, intelligent, and trainable. Throughout history, the Doberman Pincher has been shown with cropped ears and a dock tail. However, both of these practices are increasingly becoming outdated and are banned in many countries. Doberman Puppy Ears Doberman Pincher puppies have ears that are floppy, wide, and proportionally long in relation to the size of the head. Their ears are soft and silky, and inside they're smooth and pink. As the dogs mature, this color will darken, and a soft layer of hair will grow on the inside of the ear. Doberman Ears a Doberman's ears will not change shape as they reach adulthood. Surgical interference is the only thing that alters the appearance of their ears. Doberman Ear Crops There are three different types of ear crops for Dobermans. The military or working crop is the shortest and easiest for training the ears to stand upright. The show crop has a long, curved shape and it takes many months for the ears to stand erect as well as almost a year of proper aftercare. This shaping exposes the inside of the ear, including the ear canal. The medium crop is between military and show length. In some dogs, surgery may not be successful and these dogs sometimes undergo additional surgery. Cropping Doberman Ears Ear cropping is an elective surgery in which the floppy part of the dog's ear is cut off and then taped to stand upright. This procedure is performed on puppies that are between the ages of 6 to 12 weeks of age. After 12 weeks the cartilage in the ear will have hardened and this makes it unlikely that the ears will ever stand erect. Although ear cropping has been a common custom for this breed, especially in the US, there is much controversy regarding this practice. Many places have banned ear cropping entirely, including most European countries. Both the American Veterinary Association AVMA, and the Canadian Veterinary Medical Association oppose surgical alterations that are not for the benefit of the dog and merely for cosmetic purposes. Even in the US, there are fewer veterinarians who are willing to perform this surgery and ear cropping is no longer being taught at colleges of veterinary medicine in the US. Why do people crop Doberman ears? However, breed organizations like the American Kennel Club still endorse the practice to maintain breed standards. According to the Doberman Pincher Club of America ear cropping is done for two functional reasons. The first is that a cropped ear gives the dog an advantage when confronted with an attacker as there's less for the perpetrator to grab hold of. Secondly, they state that when the ears are erect they're able to locate the source of sound more accurately than a dog with a dropped ear. However, there's no scientific evidence to back up this claim. Essentially ear cropping is done to comply with show standards or because the owners like the way it makes the dog look. There are people who want their Doberman to appear as intimidating as possible. As this study found, dogs with cropped ears are perceived as being more aggressive and dominant. Why you shouldn't crop a Doberman's ears? Cropping a Doberman's ears can actually be hazardous to the dog's health for a number of reasons. Not only is this needless practice painful for the dog, as with any surgical procedure there's the risk of infection or complications with anesthesia. Post-operation care is a time-consuming commitment. If you choose the long crop, you could be looking at many months of aftercare. This long healing process can be more painful for the dog than the actual surgery. 
It's also believed that the dog's body language is compromised when their ears are cropped and this may affect their ability to express themselves to other dogs. Lastly, after all the pain and suffering, there's no guarantee that the surgery will be successful and the dog can end up permanently scarred. The Ear Cropping Process Ear cropping surgery is done under anesthesia and takes about 30 minutes. The surgery must be done by a veterinarian who is experienced in cropping Doberman's ears. During surgery, the outside part of the ears are trimmed and the edges are sutured. Some vets will post and tape up the ears immediately, while others will wait until the wounds heal. Posting is done in a variety of ways. Essentially the ears are taped over the head to keep them upright and wrapped with gauze for protection. Timing will vary, but taping typically lasts about 6 months and it can take as long as a year for a long crop. Proper aftercare is essential during this lengthy healing process, which is very uncomfortable for the dog. The wounds can bleed quite a bit and regular dressing changes are required to prevent infection. Doberman Air Cleaning A Doberman's ear should be wiped gently with baby oil on a paper towel every few days. Your veterinarian can show you the best way to clean your dog's ears to avoid damage. This is also a good time to check for signs of infection bites or excess wax buildup. If you notice that your dog is scratching their ears or shaking their head excessively, or that the area around the ear is red, consult your veterinarian. Doberman Ear Health You may have heard that leaving your Doberman's ears uncropped will increase the risk of ear infections, but there is no evidence to support this theory. This breed is not overly susceptible to ear infections or hearing loss. However, the bleeding disorder known as von Willebrand's disease has a particularly high frequency in Dobermans. This condition is characterized by a defect in platelet function which affects the blood's ability to clot. Excessive bleeding after surgery is a common clinical finding and severely affected dogs may bleed to death from surgical procedures. This is one more reason not to have your Doberman's ears cropped as surgery can be extremely hazardous. Doberman Ear Cropping a Doberman Pinscher's ears are not naturally pointed and erect, but rather wide and floppy. There are those who insist that ear cropping is a part of the breed's identity. Others will state that cropped ears allow the dog to hear better or reduce the risk of ear infections or deafness. However, the only reason to have a Doberman's ears cropped is to comply with show standards or for aesthetic purposes. Even if ear cropping isn't banned where you live, fewer and fewer veterinarians are willing to perform this surgery. It's an expensive procedure that causes the dog a lot of pain. Owners are responsible for post-operative care that can last for many months. And even then there's no guarantee that the surgery will be a success. Tell us your thoughts on Doberman ear cropping in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. Thank you for watching.